Good morning, gentlemen. You're not going to be happy today. No, no. It's, <laughs> it's been uh, it's been a bit troubling. I'd like to to lie to you mm-hmm. and tell you that I'm shocked, uh, but right. I'm not. You're not right because this is who they are, and this <clears throat> identity crisis to me because we don't really know who's going to show up. The only consistency is that Howell is going to hold the ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so that's the only thing that if I were wagering that I could actually wager on. And I don't know if it's a over <laughs> under on that, but it's to the point now that I think you really have to consider a quarter by quarter evaluation. And my question is how long mm-hmm. are we going to do this? You know, we were talking about this on, on yesterday's show. Uh, mm-hmm. if, he, if he stays upright, Doc, and I'm surprised that he hasn't been knocked out of a game as much as he's been hit. Yeah, but yeah, he's built right for he, this. He's built, but, you know, even big guys get knocked out. But anyway, yeah. um, th- he's gonna, they're going to shatter the sack, the sack record. Shatter it. I know it. And I don't know, and it seems like they're not really correcting the mistakes from the prior week. And, you know, how can you feel confident, especially against the Eagles, that they're going to correct that? Well, I agree with you. Well, you guys have set the tone all week. I think the biggest shock is that I love – where the Giants were coming from. The wink just says, this is who I am. This is what I'm going to do. Stop it. And I didn't like the counterattack. I didn't like the strategy. This is the first time that I did not, was not coincide with EB's approach. Unless he was telling some things they just did not execute. If I know you're coming at me, I got to make you pay for it. I can't give you that kind of success. Early on, once again, a team whose yearly totals in sacks, they meet it almost by half. Right. You know, I'm like, come on, fellas. Let's let's keep this real now. Mm-hmm. At what point do you go, hey, son, we're going to have to bring this along. Maybe we're going to alter our approach. But in the meantime, I got to try to win the game that I'm currently in. The future is now to me. And that I was disappointed. So you're Based calling on for the a, approach. You're calling for a change at quarterback. I'm talking about any time in the game I don't believe that you can fix yourself. I got to try to get the other guy in and win the game. Mm. Yeah, Doc, at, at halftime of the Giants game, like when the commanders had managed 47 yards of offense, I, I looked at my son and I said, don't be surprised to see Brissett come out in the, the second half. And it doesn't have to be a long-term benching for the rest of the season. Just but it could, could be just a spark be, for the game. On saying, Look, no, no, no. I'm more baseball today. guy. Yeah. No, reliever. Not right. a bit. No, no, no. I'm not trying to. I, I, I agree that the young man has some amazing skill set. But how long are we going to do this? Mm-hmm. And are you willing to sacrifice this season for it? I'm not. You got 10 weeks. I know you guys were joking about it. It is funny. But we keep saying this. You really are in it because there's no real King Kong Godzilla. That's been proven now. Mm-hmm. So this thing is coming back to the pack to you. When the norm, when the Niners look normal or look bad, wow, they're not. Yeah. yeah, then that gives everybody hope. <clears throat> All I'm saying is that what are the goals? Right now, I just feel like I'm, I'm I'm confused. There's mixed messages. I mean, nobody gets plummeted in this league or routed in this league. Some of this is borderline embarrassing. So I'm just going, you know, you're still in it. You still have a shot. Do you really believe that? I mean, what type of effort? Now, the plan, okay, first time I was not thrilled with the offensive plan. But, again, he doesn't run the play. He just calls it. The execution, I mean, come on, man. Give me a break. We have to be better in certain areas. We can't fix the old – can't fix all this during the season. Mm-hmm. You knew that stunk when it happened. We had an older – we talked about it. All of us did. Uh, are we sure? Okay, we trust in you. Well, guess what? Right now, that's a Halloween move. But you're still in it. I think the good news is that you have to say to yourself, despite what we see that makes you gag, hey, you're still in it. Now, the question is – John Allen's rant, I need that before the game, not after. Mm. And if you get that before the game, and and every day of the week, I need that, then you got a chance. I know you care, but I'm not certain they're able to do this on their own. I think you might need some outside assistance. Well, Doc, how much blame are you giving Biennemi 
because obviously there's a blame pie, right? And we kind of talked mm-hmm. about it yesterday. Off- yeah. Offensive line gets a, a bulk of it, but how much of the blame are you giving to the enemy over how? If well, any, I don't even know. <clears throat> I'm hoping that it's his task. It's his, his move. He's feeling it. I just think your overall approach, Wink is saying he's giving you the finger and telling you we're coming. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Anybody that telegraphs a punch should not knock me out. That's all I'm saying. Right. So how would you have? How would you? You have taken Terry's advice. You'd have thrown more like go routes, fly routes. That sort I'm not. Of thing. I'm, I don't. I don't get into the schematics of them. I'm just telling you. Got to feel it. You're paid to call it, not me. Mm-hmm. But what I'm telling you is that what you did was not impressive. Mm-hmm. Because you still can cut the field in half. Why does the guy have to be in a drop back position every time? Mm-hmm. You can sprint him. You can move it. Right. You have the option to move the pocket. You opt out. What it appeared to me, Doc, was that he went into that game thinking, you know what? I got a running back chip in here. I got an extra tight end chip in here. This sort of thing. Um, and then he none of your people extra- blocked that well. None of no, I agree. none of your it people blocked out. that well it didn't to work consider out. them an option, in my opinion. Well, that's what you, he did. And then, well, he, then he added an offensive lineman, and, and then he finally started moving the pocket a little bit in the second half. Yeah, that I like. Again, yeah. it's just a observation of a strategy. Because to me, I, that's why I like Wink. I like people to tell you, they give you the finger and say, this is what we're going to do, stop it. Mm-hmm. As opposed to, trying to come up with an analytical approach and, uh, you know, the hell. Some, it's a line of scrimmage league. It never changes. You knew damn well coming in here, the guy that we have, our center, the Giants knew this. He didn't block them in practice when he was there. Mm-hmm. Did you think that that was coming? Are you going to stop him with Gates? No. You knew that coming in. So I, I was expecting a little bit more innovation. Or maybe you had a strategy. Then they went to Terry, which you can never go wrong with. So this is why analytics is cute, but when it comes down to it, an alien always wins. Terry's an alien. Mm-hmm. He was covered. They don't give a damn what the coverage was. He just goes out and he's that dude. And unfortunately, we don't have enough of them. What? What? Why is Dotson dropped off? I thought he was like Terry McLaurin Jr. You know, this is a league that it's about production. Why is he still in the game? See, my point is that I don't have to play any of you. I only play people that are producing, that are showing me that they're into it. If you're not next, mm-hmm. and if I can't, if I don't have people to put in next, that's my fault. Because mm-hmm. you pick the roster, right? So you can't get off the. You gotta, you gotta admit to something. It's on you. You got everything set up, then make it work. If you can't get it work, try somebody else. If you don't have anybody else to try, it's your fault. But either way, no excuses because the league is coming back to you. There is no reason to bail out at this point. We should be digging our feet in, getting tougher, coming up with a way. Mono e mano. We never do that. We well, always got to be uh, delusional. We got to be like a tr- magic show. I'm saying at some point, what do the guys that you picked to be on this team, what do they actually do well? Not enough. No, let's just Not do enough. that. Not enough, yeah. Talking to Rick I mean, Doc did you Walker. ever wonder? Don't you wonder that at some point? Yes, well, that's of course. Why I said, that's why I said, Doc, I think they lost this that game on Sunday in the offseason. By their free agent signings, by the way they attacked the draft, that's how they lost that game. Yeah, and so far, you would look like a genius. Mm-hmm. But that could be flipped. Because to me, it's all on the guys. Look, this is the second offensive unit, offensive line that we've been told about. And we all talked about it throughout the week. You guys did a hell of a job with it. Don't fall into this trap about they went out to rent an offensive lineman store and picked up people. Because <laughs> it always works against us. We didn't ravish this team. They had guys in there. They had name plates on their helmets. They didn't know who the guys were. Mm-hmm. We didn't take They didn't dominate the game. You made a few plays. I was expecting total domination with our group. That didn't happen. Yeah, made a few plays. I wanted to ask you about this, all right? So we were talking about Chase Young, who obviously is making some plays this season. Um, But he's going to be a free agent. 
Montez Sweat's another guy who's making some plays, going to be a free agent. But right now, both of those guys are part of the 29th-ranked defense, both in points and in yardage. So the defense overall not getting it done. Now, I know that you want to vie for the playoffs and league is coming back, but let's say they lose to the Eagles, which will be five out of six games that they've lost. And you look at the next two, which are roadies against New England. Let me and save Seattle. you some time. All right. Everything's open. Let me save you some time. Hmm. Every option's open. I can't win with any of them. Okay. I know where you're going with this. Everybody is optional with me because I can't win with you. Hmm. Right. So would you be but would you be a seller or would you be a buyer? Jason was suggesting that they <clears throat> they should more likely be buyers. I'm and in sell mode. I, I say sell. I say go out and get some offensive linemen that can help you. Because the guys they got now aren't. Yeah, and here's the only thing about it. Because me personally, I don't play off season in season. <clears throat> okay. I'm not good at that game. Hmm. I'm focused on trying to beat the Philadelphia Eagles. And I'm not selling the people that I need to count on Sunday, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It's not in my in my blood. That's not my job. But I think you're pretty good in saying that and I make a blanket statement because I want you to be listening to me seriously. I can't win with any of them. So everybody's expendable if I can make my team better. That answer it? Mm-hmm. I hear you. Because that's the way I do it. I don't play off season during the season. Well, you only have a week I'm to focused decide. on winning the beating the Eagles. Right, but my point and is. And I think you- it's really crappy if you're going to sell me and then ask you to use me in four or five days. I'm all in until it's burned up. And you guys can do that, and I appreciate the fact that you do it. But that's what the ownership groups, that's their question to those guys. Right, so hold on. Are you saying that you wouldn't be interested in bringing in new guys because you can't coach them up in three or four days and expect No, 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 no. I'm interested in doing anything I can do to win the game I got coming up. If you can help me beat the Eagles, I'm all ears. Right. But 2024 in the stadium, the uniform, I don't give a damn. Right, no, I understand. Yeah, I don't do that. And I'm not saying it's bad. I don't do that. There's a game coming up. I'm paying people that pick up a check every Monday. And what I need is somebody to help me get them to actually do their jobs. Is that possible? Right. Well, I mean, the guys they have now. <laughs> they just doc, might not be good enough. Doc, they're not good enough, bro. They're not, well, then that's, well, they're then, not good enough. Well, then, you know it and okay. I know it. It's proven us right. But what are you going to do about the Eagles? We go time out. We're gonna lose to the Eagles. <laughs> well, okay. They're the best team in the okay. league. That's what's you know gonna happen. What's next? You know what's next? I don't know. Be heckle and jekyll. Mm-hmm. They went up to Philly. Best game I've seen them play against mm-hmm. the best opponent. That's what gripes me. Because mm-hmm. once you show me you got it in you, then it's back to the jockey. Horse, show me what it's capable of doing. <laughs> no, I actually <laughs> agree with that. Horses well, show me what it's capable of doing. Well, you can also you can't you go can to Philly and do Doc, what they did. You can also say, Doc. All right, that was a one-off. That was out of seven games, they put everything together, but that's not consistency because they haven't you're done absolutely that. Absolutely right, Bish. You're right. You're right. But wouldn't you be? Aren't you more impressed that they did it against the big bully of the East as opposed to a punk or chump? That showed me <laughs> no, something. I mean, I'm, <laughs> it also tells me the jockey needs to get his crap together. Yeah. All right, All Doc, right. we got to well, we'll see man. what the jockey does We this always week. love it. Okay. Doc, thanks again for the time, man. Hey, you guys keep doing what you do, man. We will. Right. Halloween's Thank coming you. up, too. I got something for you guys. All, All right. right. Oh, okay. Very All good. right. Good All deal. Right. I hope it's chocolate. That is Doc. Haunted house. <laughs> Doc Walker. <laughs>